Hey everyone, today I'm here with a haul. It is mostly yarn, but there are obviously a couple of extra things. Um, I ordered this off from Knit Picks. They had a Cyber Monday sale like they do every year. Um, and so I picked up a few things. I didn't go completely crazy, but you'll see. Yeah, so let's go and get started. Okay, the first thing I bought... Oh, I'm going to start. I apologize for the crinkling. They put it in this little bag and it makes a lot of noise, so be careful. All right, so I have another one of these in a different pattern and they, um, they're really nice and they come in handy. So they had a new pattern or a new print or whatever and I picked it up. It's two cats, or I'm sorry, a cat and a sheep talking about yarn and knitting. There's a little mouse. It's adorable. Um, yeah, these were on sale. Their accessories, these type of things were on sale for like 15% off. So I just went ahead and threw it in my cart because I knew I was going to buy it eventually. All right. And then I bought, these are um, ID tags. They're basically, you put them on um, your interchangeables when you take the tips off if you're you know using them for something else so that way you don't forget I have a I have a cat she's staring at me hi there you go <laughs> sorry about that um, I also bought a retractable tape measure you can really never have too many of these and I keep losing them and I have um, other tape measures that are you know just like they're not on like a retractable thing so yeah and then I bought some knitting needles um, these are 16 inch circulars fixed circulars I got a size 11 a size 7 and a size 8 that's in the other room um, there was one so there are a couple other things that aren't here at least one thing I know for sure that's not here because other than the knitting needles because reasons all right, so they also had their palette on sale for like $1.75 a ball, and that's pretty cheap. Um, it is fingering weight, 100%, what is it, Highland Wool? Is that it? Is that what it's called? Something Highland Wool. Peruvian Highland Wool. And these are 50 gram balls. I bought two skeins in each color that I bought. Um because I have some projects that I wanted to do, actually one specific project I wanted to do, and I wasn't 100% sure what um, color gray I wanted to use, so I bought a few different ones, um, and knowing that I could use the rest in like another project. So anyway, um, I bought this one's Mist. It is this light gray color. It's got a little blue in it. It's pretty. I like it. I bought, I'm going to try not to show you like the duplicates, but um, this one is silver and it is this pretty gray color. It's, I mean, it's not shiny like silver, but it is silver color. So this is um, Finley Heather. And this is a gray, but it's got a little brown in it. So it's obviously a heather color, so that means it's um, it's got a little bit more variation. And hopefully it'll, let's see. Can you tell? Can you see the, the variation? Yeah. So there you go. Um, and let's see, I got some darker grays too. This is ash. And it is um, a little... On my viewfinder, it looks kind of blue for some reason, but it is um, gray, like a medium gray. It's not super dark, but it's, you know, it's a good gray. It's kind of like the color that I painted my shed, if you could see my house. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see, this is Asphalt Heather. Okay, and it is, it looks black on my viewfinder and kind of in this lighting too, but it is just a very, 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 very dark gray, almost black. It sort of looks like asphalt, but it is a heather colorway, so it does have some variation in it as well. 
Um, now this yarn is, it's soft. It's not merino soft, but it is soft. All right, now some of these are duplicates. So I'm gonna try not to pull those out. Okay, <laughs> so those are all of the neutral colorways that I bought. And then I bought, um, and then I have Indigo Heather and it is showing up super blue, but it is actually purple. This really, really kind of a dark, almost royal purple, but it is a heather colorway, so it does have some other colors in it, like blue. And then I bought a green color, or a teal color, I guess. And this is Tide Pool Heather. And it's a lot more blue um, than the camera is showing. It's more of a teal color and less of a green color. It does have a little light, like a lime green in it. And then I bought three skeins of Lindy Chain, which, um, and I got the colorway Plum. And you can see it's actually just sort of chained along. And it feels like I just did like the chain stitch a bunch of times. Um, and it's in this sort of purpley gray kind of colorway. I actually have a um, cardigan in sort of a similar color, so that'll work. Um, but I'm I'm making a like a stole type thing. And, and then the uh, the last things I bought, I bought two skeins each of um, different colors of nitpicks felici they got rid of felici a while ago it's their sock yarn well their self-striping sock yarn and um they discontinued it and then they brought it back for the sale this was not on sale i had to pay full price for it everything else i bought i believe was 50 percent off um but the felici was full price but it's like 550 a yard or something like that so or a skein um it is 50 grams this is the rainbow colorway. It looks like rainbows. Um, <laughs> and it is 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. There you go. It is, I've never used Felici before. Um, I think it got discontinued before I was ever like, I might make socks one day. <laughs> and so I just didn't get a chance to use it. It is so soft. Oh my goodness, it's so soft. I hope they bring it back um, because I don't know, I just like it. The colors are really pretty. Um, they they look nice. It's very soft, it's very squishy. I'm into it. And so I got two skeins of that and two skeins of the Time Travel, Time, ooh, I can't talk, Time Traveler colorway. And it's same makeup and everything like that, but um, yeah. Now that color next to the brown, um, it's actually more purple in real life. And then everything else is pretty true to color. Yeah. It's very pretty. This is, um, again, super soft. Very nice. I know why people were so upset when they got rid of it, so sale is unfortunately over, but, um, they have it every year, so you can, you know, plan ahead, I guess. They have other sales, so don't worry about it. This, they just had a lot of different kinds of sales on. Usually when they have a sale, it's like one type, so it'll be like a sock, sock yarn sale, or, um, only green yarns are on sale, things like that. So I just went ahead and picked up a few things that I've been planning on picking up for a while and yeah oh I was going to mention about these um circulars a little confession all of my 16 inch circulars are bamboo <laughs> um I do have some of those 17 inch ones that are um that I got from eBay and those work well for like a, a men's size hat but for something that's still an adult circumference but smaller than that it's better to have that one inch less so I'm gonna give these a try I'm already like a, I'm already using the size 8 and it's working out pretty good so far and these are pretty inexpensive so 
Um, yeah. So I decided to give them a try and see what I thought. All right. That is all I have for you today. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.